like you be strong to hold the powers of the sun to dream believe in strength now I'm the only one only one Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another 335i build. So today we're going to be fixing some of the holes that are on the car. And a lot of you guys have been mentioning that. You guys are telling me not to just put some clear coat on there. I mean some uh, clear bra. You guys actually want me to fill in the holes. So I decided, you know, that's a good idea. Let's keep the car clean. Let's keep it super, you know, classy. So when we actually modify it and make it look nice and everything, it, it actually looks like, a, you know, a civilized car. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cut off some of these, you know, the metal that's pulling. I might hammer it in or cut it off, shave it off, and then fill it in and then use some Bondo over it. We'll see what we're going to do and then probably seal it with paint. We'll see what we're going to do with that. But I'm also going to show you guys, a couple people actually sent me out some things for this car, for this project. So shout out to you guys. For any of you guys who send out products for this build, we'll be featured in the back of this car permanently so if you guys want your Instagram name back here permanently on this car and I'm doing some crazy things with this car then make sure to send out any of those parts down below because I do need it for the build and you know as a teenager that goes to college and all that stuff I can't afford all this stuff so any help will be great I actually got to go down to Michael's and get some vinyl um, some white vinyl to put their names in the back of the car which I'll be doing at the end of this video uh, but before I do that I just want to also shout out to Audi real quick they actually keep sending me out some products on me to review and these products are really helpful considering that I have a project um, so those th those will be used in this video. I'll show you guys. Check, you know, we'll check it out. Um, Hamza did send me this uh, harness, I believe. My boy Daniel actually sent me out a package as well. He said, so I, I left a little something special for you. So I got to check out that package real quick. Um, he's going to be featured in the back of the car. He sent out a part for this build that I think is really sick. I did ask for it. Um, so, he, you know, he hooked it up and he hooked me up with something else as well, he said. Um, so I'm going to check it out. I'm going to go ahead and unbox it. I'm going to go ahead and unbox Hamza's uh, thing as well. And we're going to see what's inside of them. And I'll be putting both of their names in the back of this car. Um, you know, appreciating them for the build. You know, Hamza's only going to like a $5 part, but anything really is appreciated so I appreciate you so much. I will go down to Michael's and get the vinyl uh, for it because it's like special vinyl is some crap. I don't know what it is. Expensive vinyl. So anyways I gotta go pick that up and then cut out you know make their names and put it on the back of the car so I can you know add to the list. Burger Tuning and ECS and actually Keys Motorsports. Um, we are, we're all working together on trying to make this build crazier and crazier. So uh, yeah Burger Tuning they already sent me out some performance things so I'm gonna be showing you guys that when it gets here. Keys Motorsports is helping me out with a couple aesthetics things so I'm getting in contact with him we're trying to work out some things and we might actually get some you know a nice body kit on here and then ECS um, they helped me at the strut bar they might hook me up with something else if the strut bar you know the video does well that's how usually partnerships go slash sponsorships so we're gonna go ahead and try that as well see if that you know works out it's whatever I mean if you guys don't enjoy the content you know there's no point but I mean if you guys do enjoy it make sure to smash the like button because it really helps me out a lot helps out this build I'm not asking for donations you know money wise at all I'm just asking if you guys have some parts laying on the house you know it wouldn't hurt to help me out and at the same time I'm going to show my gratitude by featuring you guys the name of the back of the car. But without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and show you guys what um, some of you guys sent out to me. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, so this is from Daniel. Um, he has a YouTube channel of his own. I'll have his link down in the description. He gave me a good deal on this product that he, I don't know if he makes them. I don't know, you know, what he does. But he has them, and he has them up for sale for a pretty good price. So he hooked me up with one of these buttons, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys, uh, you know, how it looks. I won't be installing it in this video. I might. I don't know. We'll be working on the holes. If we do have time, I'll be installing it in this video. I also, also noticed he hooked it up with the shirt. My concern is where's the button? You know, the main the main thing is the button for me. Maybe somewhere inside the shirt. 
Um, yes, it is. So, as you guys can see, this is the main thing, which is the red push start button. I really wanted one of these on this car. So, this is one of those, I, I don't know, it makes it feel like a rocket ship. It's a red push start button. I think it's really dope. He has these for sale on his uh, his account. If you guys want it, if you guys want to check him out, his Instagram will be down below. So, he sells these buttons. This would be really dope. Can't wait for this install. And it looks like they hooked it up with the shirt. Oh, damn. It's got like tags and everything. This thing looks legit. All right. I'm actually gonna rep this for uh, for this video. Why not? That's just a dope shirt. I don't know if you thought I was extra large. I swear to God, for me, extra large. What does it say? It's a large. Uh, all right. I, I, all I, right. I, some respect. Some respect. I, I respect it for giving the right size. I mean, I, I mean, I do look like a large, but I mean, to be honest, guys, I'm trying to work into the medium because I've been I've been hitting the gym trying to show off my. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to stop on this shirt and we'll get back to the rest of these. All right, so thank you, Daniel. Actually, I love this shirt. It's showing off my new muscles, you know, the, the stuff that I've been working on. So I do appreciate that. Um, I will be repping this shirt for this video. Probably a couple other videos. You know, I, I, I don't know. I like repping other YouTubers' shirts, other people. I, you know, I support you guys. For everyone who ever starts a business or, you know, wants to show off a brand, you know, hook me up. I'm down to wear these type of shirts. I like representing you guys. So it all works. Really excited for this push button. I cannot wait to install it. I don't know if you guys seen it with aluminum trim. It really changes the inside of the car. So this next one's by Hamza. He, uh, he did message me on Instagram, so I'm gonna be putting his Instagram in the back of the car as well. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Oh man, it's got a lot of papers on you. He's really looking out for me. He doesn't want to mess this up. And it looks like it hasn't been messed up, so that's awesome. I, I don't know if you guys know, but um, a bullet went through my harness, and this connects to the radio, um, the CCC system. So he did end up cutting this out from his car and sending me it. I really do appreciate that because, you know, getting a whole new harness from the back of the car is really expensive and a really pain to do. So just rewiring all this is no big deal. Um, and yeah, so now I just gotta get the CCC system and that would be good to go. All right, so as well, Andre sent me out a couple products. They always send me out these products. I don't know if you guys know, but I got like all kinds of different portable equipment for my cars. They, they make all these portable things for your cars, you know, on the go. So if anything happens, you're ready to go. You'll be able to fix it and diagnose the issue and head on your way. You know, they have like, they have programmers, tire pumps. I don't know, I got like a jump, jumping kit, all kinds of different things. This thing really grabbed my attention when they emailed me about this. This is really dope. Let me, go show, let me go ahead and show you guys what this is exactly. So right off the bat, we got this really nice, colorful, waterproof strap, sort of saying. So I'm assuming this is waterproof. Is it waterproof? This is, we'll see when we open it up. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. That's the charger for it. Got some instructions. Oh, dear. Okay, that's open up everywhere. Let's go ahead and put that up. I know, guys. I'm ruining the paint. Don't worry about it. It's getting wrapped. It will get polished before getting wrapped. Don't worry. So this is what we get inside the package. This is a flashlight. So just a normal flashlight from this end. When you click it a second time, you get like these LEDs right here. Click it again. Gets brighter. One more time. Super bright. So the main purpose of this thing is when you work on your car, it's got two magnets here. So you can set it. Like let's just see here, put it inside your trunk, like put it up on side of your trunk and you can actually get some light in the trunk. Really useful. Um, apparently it's got some other features. I don't know what this is. And it's got like some police thing, which I think is super dope. I, don't, I think this is a hazard thing. I'm not sure, hazard lights. I'm not sure what this is exactly. Um, and that turns it off. I did notice in the instructions as well when I was looking at this when he emailed me, it charges your phone. So that's super dope. If you have it in the back of your car and you need to charge your phone, you have nothing else to charge your phone, this will charge your phone uh, on the go. It's a portable charger. And all you gotta do to charge all this is uh, you know, a charger. You don't need to put batteries. I hate lights that require batteries. This, this, this needs a charge. You can charge it in your car and you're good to go. So yeah, it's got emergency lighting, warning lights. Uh, it's got a flashlight, all kinds of different things. It's waterproof, uh, charges your phone battery. It's pretty cool. It's an all-in-one type of thing. I love this thing. I love everything they make. It just makes your life a whole lot more can, you know, easier. Just, I just love their products. All right, so the, let me go ahead and put this off to the side. I don't know, I get super excited when they send me out their things. Um, so this is their next product they sent me. I actually did not ask for this, so I don't know what this is exactly. It looks, I don't know, it looks like a tire pump. Um, let's see. I don't know what this is. We're gonna go ahead and open it up real quick. See what this is about. I'm hoping there's a bag that goes with this. Oh, no bag, okay. Well, this is actually one of the first products they've ever sent me that doesn't have a bag. All right, so this plugs in your car like every other pocket they have. Yeah, and that goes into your, your wheel, your tire. So I'm guessing this pumps up your tire on the go. So that's what that does. I've never actually, oh wow, okay, well this is really easy. This is direct, just plug and play. Plug that in, turn it on. I guess you got the PSI settings right here. 
and you can just pump up your tire on the go. So you see other products just make your life a whole lot easier. And they got some adapters going on right here. I'll probably end up making a bag for this guy so I can put it in the truck. But yeah, that's also by Audi. So shout out to you guys for sending me out these products. I will be using that flashlight for sure in this video. Um, for this guy, I'll use it when I need to get the, the new tire on this car because you guys do know that uh, one of the wheels have a, a bullet through it. Alright guys, so I'm actually in the front porch right now. My brother's gonna go ahead and try to fill in the back of the holes with some filler. Um, I don't know what's it called, it's kind of like this, uh, I don't know, it's like a foam. It's gonna go ahead and go in the back of it just to give it kind of like a, a wall, a foundation, something that the bond, the, the bond, when we put it from the outside, it will rest on and solidify. So that's what we're gonna do with the, the, the holes. Some people tell me to weld it. To be honest, the holes are not that big. At the same time, if I need to weld it, I have to go pick up a welding, all the welding equipment, and that's gonna cost a lot for this build. At the same time, like I mentioned, this is kind of a budget build. So I'm gonna try to I'm not going to cheap out. Some of you Arabs are telling me to put some duct tape on it and spray paint over it. <laughs> I'm not going I'm not going that far, but I'm going to go put some bond, I'm going to put some filler. I'm going to make it where it's hard and it's going to be clean. I'm going to sand it and we're going to paint over it. And that should be good enough, honestly. These holes are not that big. If you guys see it, it's like maybe it's maybe like a a dime size. It's not that big. So that's what he, my brother's going to go ahead and do. He's going to get some of it on camera. I'm going to head down to Michael's. I'm going to head down to Michael's. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some decals so uh, we can put some of you guys' names back there for that. For those of you guys who've been sending out some things for the car, which I appreciate. And then I'm going to go down to Wal uh, Walmart and just get a couple of those Bondo uh, squeegee things. So I'll, I'll catch you guys when I get back. Hopefully my brother will record something for y'all. All right, and I'm back home, and it turns out my brother didn't do anything. But that's because uh, he tried unclogging it. If you don't use it for a certain period of time, um, it like eventually like starts clogging up on the tube and rather try getting the clog out but it wouldn't get out. So I went ahead and just bought a new can. These cans like four bucks at Walmart. Um, they're, they're used to fill around edges and seal things. I actually tried making my wide body on the E92 out of this thing. It sticks on the car pretty damn well. It's not a permanent thing, but it sticks fairly well. The only thing, the only purpose why I'm using it is to put a little bit of a wall behind the bullet hole. So when I put the Bondo in, it doesn't crack and go in. Um, it actually has some pressure. Um, and of course, unless you're putting like a pen in it, you won't be able to just like push in the hole. I mean, uh, like, if you lean against the car, you're not going to push in the hole then because like there's no way unless you have a pen and you know where the exact spot is and you try to like bang at it a couple times, it'll go through. So the odds of that happening is very rare. Also, a lot of you guys telling me that the car will rust and stuff like that. In my area in California, we don't have rain and you know all that salt and stuff like that. So the body is not going to rust. I mean, there's no, the track seat is it, it, pretty much, I don't, I don't see any rust. I don't think it's going to have any rust. I'm going to go ahead and put some Bondo paint over it and that should seal it and no rain should be able to go on the inside or rust anything. So I think we're going on that side. Um, so for those of you guys who are saying it's going to rust, it's going to rust, I don't think so. I've talked to a few other people, they don't think so either. So we're good on that. So we got the filler, we got some of uh, these squeegee thingies, what are they called? The spreader bar, spreaders for the Bondo. And then of course I picked up some vinyl so we can go ahead and uh, print out some of the decals for something like for Hamza and Daniel. Um, I'm going to put their Instagrams in the back of the car. Like I said guys, if you guys are trying to get featured in the back of the car, make sure you guys uh, check out the list down below of the parts that I need for this build. If you guys are local, they can give me anything that's like, you know, from the interior, that'd be amazing. If you guys are not so local but have some parts they can ship to me, that'd be amazing as well. Without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, start patching up some of these holes. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put this down somewhere. I don't know, tuck it anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna go ahead and put some of the filler right there in that hole. And then um, from this side, I'll put some bond. I'll show you guys what I mean. All right guys, so that is a bull hole. As you guys can see, it's pretty clean. So I'm just gonna put some foam around it, try to fill it in. And from this side, I'm gonna use some Bondo and just make it flush. So that's, I mean, you guys, as you guys can see, these bolts are very, very small holes. So I mean, like, it, it doesn't look that small in the, in the camera, but it's fairly small. Because the way it indents, it kind of like the bulk gets smaller while, as it goes in. When I put some Bondo on there, it's, it's gonna seal. Don't worry guys, trust me. If you guys have never trust me before, just trust me now. Come on, trust me, please. All 
All right, guys, so as you can see, the bullet holes from the outside look like it's covered in, and that's the whole point. It was just we want some support from the back. Um, this one, a little bit of foam is coming out, so a little bit of filler, so I'm gonna just grind it off a little bit, then put some Bondo, just to make sure it's hard and it's good. Um, so yeah, pretty much these holes are very, very minor. Uh, from the inside, let me show you guys how it looks on the inside. As you guys can see, the filler is supporting it from the back. Um, so I can always make it look better later, but right now I'm just trying to make it, you know, the filler basically what it's gonna do is it's gonna expand. So let me see how it looks when expand, cut off, make it look better later. But right now, I just wanted to fill it in from the rear, give it as much support as possible, and then use some Bondo and patch those. So let's go ahead and get to the wheel right now, um, fix those three holes, and once we fix those three holes, those should be done, and we'll put some Bondo on that if you have time. <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, this bullet is sticking out, which is going to be a whole lot easier to fill in because all I'm going to do is hammer it back in and it's going to be a very tiny hole to put some Bondo above it, which is great. This is also on a flat surface, which is awesome. The one down there is also on a flat surface and the one on here is going to be kind of a little bit of a pain because it does have that line that my brother had to deal with as well on his quarter panel, which shouldn't be that hard, but we're going to go ahead and hammer all this in and uh, try, you know, using a little Bondo. I don't even think I'm going to fill these in from the back because when we hammer in the metal, Unlike the other side, that metal is gonna all come together. And you know, pretty much, I think it'll even close to be honest, but I'm still gonna put some Bondo, make sure it looks clean and everything from all these three holes. What I'm really happy about also, none of the bullets got out of this side. So as you guys can see, that door is clean, that door is clean. So the only thing after you fill up those holes, that door got replaced. There's one bullet hole on that door, so I'll take off the door panel and fill in that hole. And then this is, you know, pretty, this is, shouldn't be that hard. So let me go ahead and hammer these in and uh, see what we can do. Alright guys, uh, apparently I wasn't even recording because I'm a dumbass. So basically, I hammered this all together, and it's actually hammered shut, but it's going to require some super heavy duty hammering to get this inwards, to go inwards. So, the problem with that is right now, as you guys can see, it is laid out right now, and I will the cops will be called against me from one of my neighbors if I keep hammering. So, I can't hammer any much, uh, but basically, that hole still needs to get plugged in as well. So, tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and work on these three holes, but as of now, we're just going to try to work on bonding up and uh, filling, fixing up these holes right here. My brother is working on the wheel wall right now. As you guys can see, there's three bolt holes right there. One, two, three. But he actually got the fender off. Damn, okay. So, we can get to, uh, you know, above the fender. Put, you know, some of that uh, filler, and then go ahead and put some Bondo above it. That should be good to go. These are they're ready for Bondo in a few minutes, but we won't touch those until we're finished with those. So at least these, we know it's 100% good to go. But yeah, we'll get to this tomorrow. Probably another video, we'll see. Depends how long it takes us to do the other side, because I have a feeling it's gonna take us a little bit, especially with Bondo. Um, and we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and get started on that. Alright guys, so uh, now we got the we got all the holes on this side of the car filled up from the back, some reinforcement. Um, this side is coming out just a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and sand that off and then put some Bondo, sand that off. It should be good to go, should be hard, solid, and good to go. These holes right now, um, we filled it up from the back, they're solid, so we're gonna go ahead um, sand. Actually, I don't think it needs any sanding, uh, but yeah, we can go ahead and actually start putting on some Bondo um, and you know start sanding these areas. So we just got done with the 335. I did end up moving it out. It is kind of late. It's about 1 a.m. right now. I got late from, uh, we came home from um, our family trip and I noticed you guys wanted a video, so I had to make one today. So as you guys can see, we filled up like two out of the, the five. I mean, actually, we filled up five out of the five holes. Um, we put Bondo out of two out of the five and uh, we started sanding it down, but I believe it needs another layer because I sanded it too much. It's better to put more and more thin layers rather than just one thick layer that would just bulk off. So I think that's how it works. I don't know anything about Bondo. That pretty much concludes the video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. Um, I unfortunately didn't put the names on the back of the car. I'll put it on the next video. Uh, don't worry, Hamza and Daniel. I'll put your dad's names at the back of the car. Do not worry. I'm going to make the decals tonight. Put them on tomorrow. I gotta edit this video as well. So that'll be on the next video. I also need to make sure I clean the the rear window.
windshield anyways because it's very dirty. It's got a lot of Bondo on it. So make sure to clean all that off, put you guys' names on it, and uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But thank you guys so much for the support. I noticed the channel's been growing really fast because you guys. Make sure to smash the like button. I love y'all so much. Peace out, and remember to stay humble.